Okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Pioneer. Today, we're at Fort Melendez on Night's Dream in the Tori Ray system, Tori Ray A. And this is a kind of interesting system, right? So we've got Tori Ray A here, nice big old K star with a uh, an Earth-like, I suppose, a life-bearing planet here, Night's Dream, where we are. It's got a couple settlements and then two more space stations. And B here on the White Dwarf, Tori Ray B, has another life-bearing planet. Right? Liquid water with a thick methane atmosphere. And it's got its own little moon. So this is actually a, a fairly nice system, right? AC isn't too far from the sun. Uh, we can gas up there. But I'll tell you something interesting. We can actually gas up here on Night's Dream. I'm not entirely sure why, but I think it has to do with the fact that it has a hydrogen atmosphere. So that means, I think that means we can do some fuel scooping here on this planet. So, uh, let's see. Good whiskey ring. Not much mass. Nine tons. Diamonds. Oh, we have to go to Gadge whiskey ring and then come back to Melinda's. Yeah. That's not very nice. I don't want to do that. Transport of goods to the fuse system. Nine tons. Uh, will I be in danger? Valuable cargo, that's not nice. This one, will I be um, will I be in danger? I highly doubt it. No thanks. Okay, so uh we'll take we'll go ahead and take uh this one. Let's see. Where are we going? Where does it want it? To the Kvam Pad. Check out this. Hyperville. Things drain. Wow, that's exceptionally close. 0.8 AU. No, Sato, Sato Settlement is a named planet, but it doesn't have any settlements on it. Okay. It still has a population, though. Populate. It's got. Where are they living? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sure. Let's go there. So let's see. It was uh, fuse, wasn't it? Okay. So we've got 59 tons of. I know we have 59 tons free. I actually have, uh, let's see, 16 tons of robots. Because I kind of messed up here. <laughs> I was, I came to the system on a delivery mission, and then I bought some robots at the station and took them here to Fort Melendez because Melendez imported robots. But it turns out. I bought more robots than Melendez would import, so now I'm stuck with these 16 tons of robots. But anyway, so we need 11 tons of fuel. I'm not going to buy the fuel, because, let's just take off here, and we're, this is, Night's Dream's a nice planet. Look at this atmosphere. So, let's just head over here. Get some altitude. And look at that. Our fuel scoop is active. We're fuel scooping in this... In this uh, Earth-like planet. <laughs> I love it. This is the first time I've been to a planet like this. None of the other Earth-likes I've been to 
have, to have done this. So this is great. <laughs> this is really nice. So we only need 11 tons. Uh, 12 now. So this, this, <laughs> you know, if every planet was like this, we wouldn't have to, to, uh, buy gas every time uh, we docked. All right, so let's make four fuse. Gravity is actually pretty strong on this planet. And you can see when I turned off the uh, turn back to manual control how fast I uh, my speed is dropping. But it doesn't really matter too much. Cuz we're going to hyperspace. How many jumps do we have? Three more jumps after two more after in it. Hute. Hute. I don't know. And fuse. So let me see where we were going to fuse Kavam Pad. Oh, and there is somebody that wants to shoot me. Which is perfectly fine. Is it where oh, I have to turn the ships on. Ha ha ha. Okay, so T was it. TJ2116, yeah. You are gonna get shot. And FQ9927 might also kick the bucket. Because I think they might be together. When you get ships that close together, they tend to they tend to be working together. So I'm gonna shoot him, but this is another Mola Mola with our shield. What's this guy got? Oh, Deep Space Miner. 5,000 tons? Wow. So that is really two different classes of ships there, so... They might not actually be together. Thirty-six ton Mola Mola and a five thousand ton deep space miner. I I suppose they could be, but I don't know. We just have to see. Oh, let's say goodbye to Mr. TJ here. Yeah. Now, uh, oh, and look at that! My combat rating has improved. Where are we now, Prof? Oh, we were all in professional. Combat average. Excellent. Excellent. So. Go ahead and set him as a combat rate. Man, he's actually pretty far away, isn't he? The deceptiveness of... Uh, Distance in space, I suppose. Okay. So, we're here. And let's head over to Gavam Pad. Fairly close. Which is always nice. Also, kind of challenging when it comes to... 
breaking, but I think we'll be okay. Right, and let's check where Kavam is, and where are we? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm not sure if that's rotating fastly, orbiting fastly, or we're just going too fast. Okay, I think it was just us going too fast. But it looks like Kavam will be in a good spot when we get there. So let's make to break. I think it is actually orbiting pretty quickly. I think we're doing okay. I don't think gravity is too much of a problem on uh, this planet, but you can never be sure. So we'll keep it here at about uh, fourth, the braking meter. I is going to be perhaps a little quick. Hmm. There's some stuff there. I suppose that stuff is. Might be a uh, it doesn't look like it's a hyperspace departure cloud. Well, they might be hyperspace departure clouds. Just too far away to get them to show up. Yeah, hyperspace departure clouds. I was hoping they would be kind of, uh, they might have been, uh, cargo pods, but oh well. No such luck. That's okay. Okay, yeah, that's not a bad approach. Not quite as fast as an autopilot would have done, but yeah, we're okay. I wonder if they take robots, because I would like to sell some of the robots that I have. Who knows though, we'll have to dock and find out. I could probably check from the map, but you know, I gotta dock anyway, so. Okay, let's get permission. Docking bay number eight. Turn on cruise mode and come on in. Okay. 
Eight. Level out. And let's put down. Here we are. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Got some combat in. Improved our combat rating. All is good. And made some money. Huzzah! We also got to see a very interesting planet where we could scoop fuel on a non-standard... Ah, I shouldn't have done that. I should have used the extra fuel I had. Oh well, that's for the next mission then. So let's see. Can we sell our robots? We can! Excellent. Alright, that, that turned out pretty well, actually. Let's see. Level 4 tech. So, there's not much in the equipment market. Huh. I can actually now afford a Deneb. Very interesting. We've got some power for forward acceleration. But it loses out when we pack it full of stuff. 160 cargo tons. 830 tons? That's a fair a bit bigger than our... Uh, yeah. It's a fair bit bigger than our skipjack here. But it's a Deneb. Look how ugly it is. Ugh. I suppose there are people that like the Deneb. But I'm not one of them. But if we were going to upgrade from the Skipjack, if we were going to buy a bigger ship than the Skipjack, this would probably be the next logical step. But I, I think I'm pretty happy with the Skipjack. Right? We got power, we got uh, range. What's the the hyperdrive, like a class 4 hyperdrive. We could probably fit a bigger hyperdrive on this than we could the uh, uh, skipjack. So, it might actually be an okay ship. You know what? You know what? We're gonna have to think about it. Right, less missile mounts, better atmosphere, right, more fuel. Except for this uh, real-time acceleration, the real-time uh, engine performance, the Deneb might be a better ship. Right? It's got a whole lot more capacity. It's got a whole lot more cargo space. 430 tons of capacity. Or maybe, yeah, okay. So, I'm looking at the wrong way, aren't I? But still, it's almost, it's double the current capacity what we have now, right? Cargo, it's mostly cargo space, though. So that'd be what? Um, let's see. Seventy tons for equipment, plus whatever we could eat in cargo space. Whereas seventy-nine, you know, buying this would definitely, definitely open up some new avenues to cargo missions. I do kind of like the way that it looks on the bottom. But, uh, I don't know. You know, we'll think about it. I'll think about it. See what... The Deneb offers over the Skipjack. So the only problem... Oh, there's a... 
tech level 10 system a station so we could buy this Deneb and uh, outfit it here at Sokolov Pfeiffersville 6 yeah we can't really do anything with that yeah okay so that that's gonna require some thinking and give up our excellent excellent skipjack for a Deneb or do we stay with the skipjack I think about it I think about it but for now all right, uh, thanks for watching today was uh, fairly quick but relatively well flown in my own personal opinion mission <laughs> Uh, but anyways, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you all later, and goodbye.